Now, are you selfie obsessed? Hardly a day goes by without seeing a celebrity posting a picture of themselves online. But no longer do they need hours in hair and makeup to look camera ready. There are now apps which claim to give you the perfect pout. Well, our technology expert, Julia Hardy, is uh, with us now. So, how do we get the perfect pout? Oh, God, yeah, the, the duck face <laughs> if you, thing. If you should want one. Oh, I don't know. It's just so awful, isn't it? Um, yeah, you're supposed, it's supposed to give you cheekbones, you see. So if you do a bit, a bit of a bit of a pout, it's all about, um, yeah, getting the right angle, you know, shooting. For, there's lots of tips. You can actually, like, Google this stuff. It's just weird. Although these are techniques that for normal photographers would use, hmm. but now it's becoming Available something Available to that's, everyone. Yeah. Um, so the apps we're going to be looking at today, there's one called uh, Facetune which basically just kind of airbrushes your whole face. You can take away blemishes. It's, it's effectively what you do in Photoshop or like a magazine, uh, you know, retouch would do, uh, do, but you can do it on your phone now. Um, there's another one called um, Body Tune as well, which um, you can make yourself really thin. I think we might have, do we have some images? Apparently they made me send images, but I don't know if we have them or not. Um, but oh, you can oh there's Julia in all her glory. Right, so. So like this, yeah, this is body tune. So, so you on, the, on the left. That's me. You've been, that's you normally. Normal. Yeah. Right. Um, although the angle's a bit weird. My legs don't normally look like that. <laughs> um, and then on the right, you basically, you, you pinch together so you can make yourself thinner. It's just... It's well, as you say, these have been used by magazines the whole time, all these, these front covers that we see. The, the celebrities are not really that thin, are they? Absolutely. Well, at the end of the day, it's, it's all complete fiction, right? You're, you know, these people who you aspire to look like are, don't even look like that themselves. But now what's happened is because it's coming onto people's phones and, you know, things like Instagram, stuff like that, uh, it's supposed to just be, hey, I'm out and about and this is kind of what I'm getting up to during my day. But now it's just been so changed and manipulated in the same way you know how feeds like rihanna and beyonce are like oh i'm just hanging out having a cup of tea and they have incredibly they perfect yeah. makeup yeah. Yeah. i mean there was i was reading a thing where rihanna said she would shoot something like 200 pictures to get the right really? one it's 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 Narcissism. ridiculous I was yes like, remember Elle mcpherson saying I don't look like Elle McPherson when I wake up. <laughs> really, do we have to spend that much? Oh, thank goodness. Elle McPherson probably doesn't look like <laughs> no, Elle McPherson when she I mean, wakes up. But there is this, this celebrity addiction with, with selfies, with, with Twitter, yeah. with Instagram. I mean, it's, it's really gone off the hook, hasn't it? It's, it's really disturbing. It is really disturbing. Don't get me wrong, I have an Instagram account. I do occasionally post up selfies, usually from the corner over there where I'm like, hey, I'm a guy. Um, <laughs> we've, got, we've got quite a choice selfie, haven't we now, of uh, Carla Delevingne. So Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, so Cara Delevingne's kind of a mix where a lot of models are very, very popular on Instagram and they tend to be like, oh, glamorous party in Paris and don't look amazing. At least kind of Cara Delevingne balances out a little bit with kind of semi normal and she pulls really stupid faces. So you're a bit like, all right, we'll, we'll yeah, allow you can get that away a little bit. Not too we'll... serious. Definition of a selfie, though, because as was pointed out in my ear, it's not technically a selfie because she, she isn't holding the, the camera or the phone herself. True, true. But technically when is a selfie have... not a selfie then? Well, I don't know. I think it's just if you're posting up pictures of your self, I guess. T technically, oh, okay. you have to have kind of your arm a little bit in shot. I went out with my, my parents yesterday and I was, was going to take a photo. I was like, oh, we'll just take a photo like this. And there was a woman sitting opposite us and I was like, I could just ask her to take the picture. It never even dawned on me that this was an That's option. what we used yeah. to do. I know. I was like, come in on, the mum and dad, times. let's take a picture. <laughs> But yeah. these uh, celebrities, you know, they are contributing to the craze. I mean, it started with the celebrities, didn't it, really, the whole selfie thing? Or did it? Yes, no, absolutely. And what it is now, I think the interesting thing is, like, when I first started uh, TV presenting, obviously you're supposed to put out a certain version of yourself and, you know, it's kind of smoke and mirrors and make yourself look busy and, ooh, and then, you know. But and what I've noticed over the years is, with all the kind of social media stuff, is now people who just do normal jobs are expected to manipulate and, and use this technique just for their normal, everyday mm. lives. And it's, it's so, it's just such fiction it's nothing is real anymore you don't want to hear about someone's bad day on facebook you block their feed it's, <laughs> like, what's the point of having this interaction I mean, the, selfie having thing, the selfie thing can be used to to good use isn't it? I mean, we all covered the story when prince william and david beckham they were all you know it went around the world in mm. terms of lots of sports people holding up the sign you know for yeah. conservation wildlife and all of the rest of the animals in danger absolutely you know those sort of things it's quite I, I don't mind seeing that but it's when someone's telling you how your nose should look or how your chin should look or how your cheek should look <laughs> That's it. And I think, you know, like, even if, you ever, if you've ever had a digital camera in front of a baby and you take a picture of the baby or whatever and then you show it, you know, all like, to the toddler or whatever, and they, everyone's always fascinated with their own face. Yeah. And maybe yeah. it's just the case of you haven't got much else I think, going on. Yeah, you, so, so you end up, like, taking pictures of your own face because there's nothing else to take pictures of. A little bit of controversy creeping in with uh, Millie McIntosh. Tell us quickly oh. about that. So, OK, she posted up a picture of herself in a bikini going, oh, look, you know, how wonderful I look or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, her husband, Professor Green, then was like, ooh, 
with inspiration, and which is a really bad term to use if you know anything mm. about pro anorexia websites because thinspo is something that, that they so use. Telling people how to starve themselves, basically. Yeah, basically. And then she was like, oh no, it's fitspiration. Although there is this whole thing about fitspo as well, where w women end up like losing a lot of weight, but they do it in a healthy, you know, it's, it's, but it's ridiculous, you know, like normal people can't look like that. Wow, well, they I shouldn't do it really anyway. I think the psychology of selfies and indeed putting a picture of yourself in your underwear on Twitter is really interesting. What are they hoping to gain from that? Is it sort of adulation? Mm. Is it kind of, you know, self... I don't know. It's just, I think, the whole it's psychology followers. of selfies. It's, um, yeah, I it's, think it's, it's, followers it's, it's is followers, weird. But you, to be successful as a woman, you have to be thin. No, and you don't. And, and as for women, what annoys me most about that is that the women who are doing this are perpetuating that stereotype. What, so you're basically saying that what you think and what you feel and what you say is secondary to how you look. Well, then, but it is just that. It's a stereotype. It's not say. the reality. Julia, thank so, you okay. very much for coming in and updating us. Let's